my spirit, soul, and body. Praise the Lord, my spirit, soul, and body. Shout hallelujah. We are together again. We are together again. Just praising the Lord. Just praising the Lord. Jesus, look and live, come believing. 
Number one, 117. Show a little bit of love and kindness. Sing a song. Spread some cheer. There are sad and lonely people everywhere. 
Be a friend. Show some love. It will lift them from the dungeons of despair. Offer help. Bring some hope to the fainting and discouraged on life's road. See a need, lend a hand. There are many who are crushed beneath their load. Be a light, show the way. Be a light within the night for those astray. Speak a word, loving word, that will bring them back to walk the narrow way. Show a little bit of love and kindness. Never go along with hatred's blindness. Take a little time to reach for joy. And wear a happy face. Sing a little bit when the days are dreary. Give a little help to a friend who is weary. That's the way to make the world a happy place.
open our eyes of understanding as we read your word today. We're asking that relevant passages that really speak to our present needs and problems, spiritually and physically and materially, you will impress upon our hearts. Be with us, enlighten us, instruct us, teach us as we read together now. In Jesus' name, I pray. We'll continue with the reading now. The first book of Moses, called Genesis. Chapter 33. And Jacob lifted up his eyes, and looked, and behold, Esau came, and with him four hundred men. And he divided the children unto Leah, and unto Rachel, and unto the two handmaids. And he put the handmaids and their children foremost, and Leah and her children after, and Rachel and Joseph hindermost. And he passed over before them, and bowed himself to the ground seven times, until he came near to his brother. And Esau ran to meet him, and embraced him, and fell on his neck, and kissed him, and they wept. And he lifted up his eyes, and saw the women and the children, and said, Who are those with thee? And he said, The children which God hath graciously given thy servant. Then the handmaidens came near, they and their children, and they bowed themselves. And Leah also with her children came near, and bowed themselves. And after came Joseph near and Rachel, and they bowed themselves. And he said, What meanest thou by all this drove which I met? And he said, These are to find grace in the sight of my Lord. And Esau said, I have enough, my brother. Keep that thou hast unto thyself. And Jacob said, Nay, I pray thee, if now I have found grace in thy sight, then receive my present at my hand. For therefore I have seen thy face, as though I had seen the face of God, and thou wast pleased with me. Take, I pray thee, my blessing that is brought to thee, because God hath dealt graciously with me, and because I have enough. And he urged him, and he took it. And he said, Let us take our journey, and let us go, and I will go before thee. And he said unto him, My Lord knoweth that the children are tender, and the flocks and herds with young are with me. And if men should overdrive them one day, all the flock will die. Let my Lord, I pray thee, pass over before his servant, and I will lead on softly, according as the cattle that goeth before me and the children be able to endure, until I come unto my Lord unto Seir. And Esau said, Let me now leave with thee some of the folk that are with me. And he said, What needeth it? Let me find grace in the sight of my Lord. So Esau returned that day on his way unto Seir. And Jacob journeyed to Succoth, and built him an house, and made booths for his cattle. Therefore the name of the place is called Succoth. And Jacob came to Shalem, a city of Shechem, which is in the land of Canaan, when he came from Paden Aram, and pitched his tent before the city. And he bought a parcel of a field, where he had spread his tent, at the hand of the children of Hamor, Shechem's father, for an hundred pieces of money. And he erected there an altar, and called it El Elohe Israel. Chapter 34 And Dinah the daughter of Leah, which she bare unto Jacob, went out to see the daughters of the land. And when Shechem the son of Hamor the Hivite, prince of the country, saw her, he took her, and lay with her, and defiled her. And his soul clave unto Dinah the daughter of Jacob, and he loved the damsel, and spake kindly unto the damsel. And Shechem spake unto his father Hamor, saying, Get me this damsel to wife. And Jacob heard that he had defiled Dinah his daughter. Now his sons were with his cattle in the field, and Jacob held his peace until they were come. And Hamor, the father of Shechem, went out unto Jacob to commune with him. And the sons of Jacob came out of the field when they heard it, and the men were grieved, and they were very wroth, because he had wrought folly in Israel in lying with Jacob's daughter, 
which thing ought not to be done. And Hamor communed with him, saying, The soul of my son Shechem longeth for your daughter. I pray you give her him to wife. And make ye marriages with us, and give your daughters unto us, and take our daughters unto you. And ye shall dwell with us, and the land shall be before you. Dwell and trade ye therein, and get you possessions therein. And Shechem said unto her father and unto her brethren, Let me find grace in your eyes, and what ye shall say unto me I will give. Ask me never so much dowry and gift, and I will give according as ye shall say unto me, but give me the damsel to wife. And the sons of Jacob answered Shechem and Hamor his father deceitfully, and said, Because he had defiled Dinah their sister. And they said unto them, we cannot do this thing, to give our sister to one that is uncircumcised, for that were a reproach unto us. But in this will we consent unto you, if ye will be as we be, that every male of you be circumcised, then will we give our daughters unto you, and we will take your daughters to us, and we will dwell with you, and we will become one people. But if ye will not hearken unto us to be circumcised, then will we take our daughter, and we will be gone. And their words pleased Hamor and Shechem, Hamor's son. And the young man deferred not to do the thing, because he had delight in Jacob's daughter. And he was more honorable than all the house of his father. And Hamor and Shechem, his son, came unto the gate of their city, and communed with the men of their city, saying, These men are peaceable with us, Therefore, let them dwell in the land and trade therein. For the land, behold, it is large enough for them. Let us take their daughters to us for wives, and let us give them our daughters. Only herein will the men consent unto us for to dwell with us, to be one people, if every male among us be circumcised as they are circumcised. Shall not their cattle and their substance and every beast of theirs be ours? Only let us consent unto them, and they will dwell with us. And unto Hamor, and unto Shechem his son, hearkened all that went out of the gate of his city, and every male was circumcised, all that went out of the gate of his city. And it came to pass on the third day, when they were sore, that two of the sons of Jacob, Simeon and Levi, Dinah's brethren, took each man his sword, and came upon the city boldly, and slew all the males. And they slew Hamor and Shechem his son with the edge of the sword, and took Dinah out of Shechem's house and went out. The sons of Jacob came upon the slain and spoiled the city, because they had defiled their sister. They took their sheep and their oxen and their asses and that which was in the city and that which was in the field, and all their wealth and all their little ones and their wives took they captive and spoiled even all that was in the house. And Jacob said to Simeon and Levi, Ye have troubled me to make me to stink among the inhabitants of the land, among the Canaanites and the Perizzites, and I being few in number, they shall gather themselves together against me and slay me, and I shall be destroyed, I and my house. And they said, Should he deal with our sister as with an harlot? Me God. Help us to be doers of the word. Amen.
There's a family Bible on the table. Each page is rough and hard to read. But the family Bible on the table will forever to memories at, at the, the end, end of the day, day when work was over and when no evening meal, meal was done that would read to us from the family bible and we'll count our many blessings one by one can see us sitting round the, the table, table. When from the family Bible we're going to read I can hear my mother softly singing Rock of ages, rock of ages, clap for me This so world of ours is full of trouble but this world would also better be If we find more Bibles on the table And mothers singing rock of ages cleft for me I can see us sitting round the table And find a family Bible that would read I can hear my mother softly singing Rock of ages, rock of ages kept for me Holy Bible, how I love thee I shall sky through this dark world Holy Bible
will forever be my kids to memories. At the end of the day, when work is over, and when all in the meal work is done, that would bring. This old world of us is full of troubles, but this world would also better be if we find more Bibles on the table and mothers singing "Rock of Ages" left for me. I can see us sitting round the table. Sitting round the table.
whatever it is. For such a time as this, for now and all the days he gives, I am here, I am here, and I am here for such a time as this. You. Like the grass is always greener under everybody else's sky. But right here, right here for the time and place, you can leave a mirror of his mercy or forgive an image of grace. For such a time as this, I was placed upon the earth. the world we see Jesus. But such a time as this, time I was blessed upon the earth upon the to earth. hear the voice of God and do His will, whatever it is. For such a time as this, for now and all the days He keeps,
Promises are yea and amen. And whatsoever miracle and whatsoever salvation you don't have any strength to carry, what you don't have any skill to perform, your prayers are going to be answered. Supernatural freedom beckons only through Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, He says, I will do it. Bringing wonders. For all at GCK October edition. He does wonders. Wonders in the heart. Wonders in your soul. Wonders in your spirit. Wonders in your family. And wonders in your community. Live at the headquarters of Ogoniland. October 27 till November 1. 2022. The Alpha location is Birabi Memorial Grammar School, BMGS, Bori, River State, Southern Nigeria. This oil-rich location will host the power of Jesus Christ to yield numberless blessings to the globe. Numberless possibilities, numberless miracles, numberless exploits. Their satellite and all our social media platforms. Over the radio, on the television, online, anywhere you are, all it takes is to say, I believe it will be done. The anointed, appointed, assigned man of God, the international evangelist, Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumui, says, Everyone has a miracle with his name attached to it. GCK, the gospel to every creature. It's the Lord coming your way today. Man and God, we're called the preachers of the gospel, we're called evangelists and soul winners, and we're to go into the world and bring sinners out of the world and bring them to Christ. 
who now links them up with God. For us to be reconciled with God, we need the mediator, the one that stands between and brings us from where we were to where we are to be in the Lord. He's given us the gospel so that we tell the sinner. And then as we tell him, he responds to that. He comes to Christ. He is saved. He becomes a child of God. They have a drive within them. And they are hurrying fast into hell. And we need to stop them quickly and tell them the end of the journey of sinfulness is bitter. It's painful. It's terrible. It's eternally tormenting. And so we show them the sacrifice of what the sinless Christ mediator has done to save them from their hellish pursuit. Look at 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 11. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord will persuade men, knowing the terror of the Lord. Our world does not know that there is the terror of the Lord. They might know about the terror of men and they call them whatever name. They might know about the terror of Satan. They fear that more than the terror of God because they don't even know there's any terror from the Lord. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord will persuade men. The people who don't talk to men about salvation, about repentance, the people who don't talk to anyone about reconciling with God, they don't know the terror of God. If you knew the terror of the Lord as well as, as Paul knew the terror of the Lord, you will rise up and that will drive you to do something. If you knew the terror of the Lord, like Jesus Christ knew the terror of the Lord upon sinners who are dying without Christ and without salvation, and Christ knew the damnation they will have, the torment they will have, have, the suffering they will have, the pain they will have because of that, he warned men. The apostles knew the terror of the Lord on sinners, on backsliders, on the people who are only religious and they do not have the righteousness of God. And the apostles warned their hearers of the terror of the Lord. The reason why anyone is cold, the reason why anyone is lazy, the reason why anyone is idle and is not preaching the gospel, is not talking to the sinners, is not a kind of bringing the word of life unto them is because they do not know, we do not know, we do not sense, we do not feel the terror of the Lord. When you see a backslider, do you remember the terror of the Lord? When you see a sinner, do you remember the terror of the Lord? When you talk to people that you don't know whether they are saved or not, they're just acquaintances or they are friends or they are relations or whoever they are, when you see the young and they're doing evil, and when you see the men and the women and they're living in sin, when you see churchgoers, even people that come to our church and you see them living in sin and doing evil do you remember the terror of the lord no you don't remember because if you remembered you would have spoken to them you would have felt it the pain the agony the torment they will have in eternity if you knew it you will be talking to everybody you'll not mind whether they disregard you or belittle you or whether they scorn you or whether they criticize you if you knew the terror of the Lord you'll persuade men there are people that think that God will not judge anyone they say God loves them unconditionally that whether they do evil or they do good it doesn't matter that God had loved them from all eternity even before they were born and now that they are born and whatever life they live living in sin and living in evil that God loves them unconditionally the bible does not say that for we know him that has said vengeance belongeth unto me and i will recompense says the lord and again the lord shall judge his people god judges the righteous and god is angry with the wicked god is angry with the sinner 
It's not just, you know, the sinful thing that he has done. People say God is angry with the sinful act, but he loves the sinner. It's, they say he loves you anyhow. He loves you anyway. Well, even though you are wicked, he loves you, but he doesn't love your wickedness. And people are taking that in, and they're not taking time to persuade the wicked because they say, after all, God loves him. Look at this. God judges the righteous and God is angry with the wicked every day. Rise up and talk to the Lord in prayer. And I pray at the end of the day, Father, our souls will be revived in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we're afraid. Amen. We are on the mountain Zion. We are on the mountain Zion. We are on the mountain Zion. We are here to worship God. Hallelujah. We are on the mountain Zion. We are on the mountain Zion. We are here to worship God. We are on the mountain Zion. We are on the mountain Zion. We are on the mountain Zion. We are here to worship God. Hallelujah. We are on the mountain Zion. We are on the mountain Zion. We are here to worship God. We are on the mountain Zion. We are on the mountain Zion. We are on the mountain Zion. We are here to worship God. Hallelujah. We are on the mountain Zion. We are on the mountain Zion. We are here to worship God. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. He liveth forevermore. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Jesus liveth. He liveth forevermore. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer Redeemer liveth, he liveth forevermore. Hallelujah. He liveth, he liveth, he liveth forevermore. I know my Savior liveth, I know my Redeemer liveth, I know my Jesus liveth, he liveth forevermore. I know my Redeemer liveth, I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth, he liveth forevermore, hallelujah. I know my Redeemer liveth, I know my Jesus liveth, he liveth forevermore. You are the Lord that changeth not, 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 you are the Lord that changeth not. Oh, you are the Lord that changeth not. 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 You are the Lord that. Oh, you are the Lord that changeth not. 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 Oh Father, you are the Lord that changeth not. Pass me not, O oh gentle Savior. Yeah, I humble cry, while on others thou art calling. Do not pass me by, do not pass me by, Savior, Savior. Yeah, my humble cry, yeah, my humble cry. Do not pass me by, blessed Savior, 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 Savior. Yeah, my humble cry while on 
others thou art calling. Do not pass me by, blessed Savior. Savior, 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 hear my humble, hear my humble cry. He is able, abundantly able to deliver and to save our God. Is able, abundantly able to deliver those who trust in Him, who trust in Him. Able, able, abundantly able to deliver, to deliver and to save. Able, able. To deliver those who trust in him, who trust in him. Able, able, abundantly able to deliver and to save. Abundantly able to deliver those who trust in him. Be able. Abundantly able.